Hey there, this is uh, Praxis Maxis, uh, or Liam, uh, Praxis Maxis on the Gaming Edu server, and this is a very quick uh, Gaming Edu's basics um, video about using protections on, in the Gaming Edu's uh, server. Basically, we have a plugin called LWC, and when you lay down chests and furnaces, um, they're protected against uh, other people opening them. So, as you can see, I just put down that chest. And I'm going to open it, and I'm going to put that nice shiny apple in there. I can open and close it because I am the owner of the chest. I created it. But Hatchy Rule over here, uh, she is going to try and open the chest, and when she does, she can't open it. So the chest is protected, but let's say you make a chest or a furnace and you want uh, other people to use it, that's easy too. So all you need to do is use the slash C remove command and that will remove the protections on the chest and then it says punch your protection to remove the block the lock so I'm gonna punch the thing I want to remove which is the chest and it removed lock on chest successfully so now Hatchy Rule can come and she can go and open the chest and she can take the shiny apple and close the chest and move away and so now when we go in you'll see the apple is gone. So that works the same for um, chests and furnaces. And if you want to go that extra step and ensure that everyone can use your chest, then you can make it public by going slash C public. And then punching the thing you want to make public. And that will work for, uh, and then Hashiro can go and she can still use it again. Like that. So, this works. Uh, this protections works for chests. It works for doors, uh, furnaces, and a lot of things. And it's very handy uh, when you want to lock up some things that you don't want everyone else to take. So uh, yeah, thank you very much. Enjoy.